Good evening and thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Kevin McNamara. First off tonight, it was more than a month ago that 200 residents in a Whitehaven mobile home community filed a petition demanding changes for management. Fast forward to today and some of those residents say nothing has changed. Our Desmond Nugent spoke with one couple who share why they're not giving up until something gets resolved. Kevin, those residents say they just want basic things done like water leaks fixed and potholes repaved. Cassandra Garibay and her boyfriend, who have lived at Willis State for four years, tell me beyond that list, they just want consistent communication with the complex's office employees instead of feeling ignored. While things may appear quiet here at Willis State, concerns such as the gates and streetlights not working, on top of a lack of communication with the mobile home's office employees, have yet to be permanently fixed. They did something to it, but honestly, it was just a temporary fix. When the rain came, it honestly deteriorated and the potholes came back, so no, no progress has been made. Cassandra Garibay and her boyfriend Juan Contreras have been living here for four years. She says while they have not experienced issues with water leaks, it does impact everyone when it's a problem. To us, it just seems like a hassle because for random periods, for like around five hours, we're out without water and that's really troublesome for us. Last month, the city of Memphis code enforcement did cite the property for a water leak. The property's owner, Roots Management, told me last month they were working on installing a new water main to avoid future leaks, as well as resolving other tenant concerns. They also issued this letter telling me they are considering making sure the community manager is available on site at dedicated times. For Contreras, the potholes not being repaved is costing him a lot of money. Man, a couple hundred bucks already. And it's been, like we said, a long period of time already this is happening. Garibay tells me they won't quit until their concerns are addressed. Willis State is expected to be in environmental court this week. Many residents tell me they are hoping a change will come soon after that hearing. Back to you.